and Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here, 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network, uh, Eastern Time, that is, on this Friday, the 11th of August. We're looking at the Dow up 87 points. It just refuses to go down, but the nine period moving average is getting closer to the 14. All the others have crossed negative, but not the Dow. Look at the S&P. The S&P at this particular point is now down five at 44.63 and you can see that pink for a few days now you've got a sell mode in place doesn't mean to say oh my god it's going all the way down to anything it just says the designation is sell mode it's more serious than a sell signal and now you've got the qqq exactly the same it is down 215 um at uh, 36 uh, is that a six yep 366 and what we're looking at is, for quite a few days, it's been pink, nine-period moving average. You're looking at the IWM, Russell 2000, small caps. Uh, nice little bounce today, up 30 cents at 191.03, but absolutely getting close to that 50-period moving average with a pink nine-period moving average. Look at gold trying to come back from the low today. It's up three at 1951. This 1940 area is just really important for the bounce. Let's see if that's going to hold. The dollar, oh, I didn't finish this in my show. The dollar is acting quite nicely. It's up eight ticks at 102.60. It's just not showing the kind of strength you would think of as a leadership, but it's certainly holding very well. The TLT, and this is going to be quite important, uh, pull back sharply. It's up 15 ticks at 95.74, but it hasn't had a big follow through from that big volume reversal day uh, six, six, seven sessions ago. So it's going to be really important because yields are moving high. Crude oil, crude oil is holding very well. It's down, it's up 29 uh, ticks at uh 8310, it's, got, it's in this area that says, wow, if it holds here, it can build another base, in fact, to start moving high. So with that said, be a little careful. We've had these whipsaw sessions, but mostly we're looking at some of the technical starting to deteriorate within that. So I suspect that this consolidation that we've been expecting for a little while is unfolding, and it should unfold and continue into next week. The volatility index holding so high says it all happened a little quickly. That's why you've got these bounces to the upside. But if uh, we'll just see if the Dow actually closes over 150 points today, that's kind of, that's pretty good action. Just says sideways consolidations, nothing much. But if it starts to give everything back and all of a sudden it's only up 15 points after three o'clock, mm, that's not going to be so good. So we're looking at a digestive phase. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Thank you for being here. Stay tuned. And don't forget Teddy's webinar on candlestick charting on Monday. Go to the front page of TFNM. Have a great weekend.